Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Elizabeth, and today we're going to be talking about five habits to cultivate that can help you extend and add more years onto your life that are actually enjoyable and that you are feeling healthy and thriving through. And so I was wondering, what are the main habits? Like if I could pick a few core habits, what do I want to do and what do I want to avoid? And so Harvard actually did a study. The researchers from the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, they looked at data from more than 73,000 women who were enrolled in the Nurses Health Study, NHS, who were followed for 30 for years and more than 38,000 men that were enrolled in the health professionals follow-up study HPFS who were followed for 28 years so they looked at this study and they did this study for many many years and found these conclusions so let's look about what those five things are so in a previous study they found that these five things or a couple of the things that were done or avoided helped people to live the longest. So number one is a healthy diet. It was calculated and rated based on reports of regular eating, healthy foods like vegetables, fruits, nuts, whole grains, um, healthy fats, omega-3 fatty acids, and avoiding the less healthy options like red meats and processed meats, sugar-sweetened beverages, um, trans fat, and excess sodium. So you want to have a healthy diet. So a lot of you probably know that I'm vegan and plant-based and you avoid those things, the processed and fatty foods. Of course, if you are vegan, you can actually be like a junk food vegan and you could eat, did you know that Oreos and Coca-Cola are vegan? <laughs> so I'm more about the whole foods and the whole foods. Now, like I said, I'm not a perfect person with all of this stuff, but um, I try to get the more whole foods into my diet and the more whole foods in the better. And most research has shown, um, even if you do have a little bit of meat or fish or things like that, Typically, a plant predominant diet is best, which really plants, it's like you've heard all of your life, fruits, vegetables, um, these one food ingredients, right? So go to a produce section if you're ever worried about what a healthy item is. Most of the foods in the produce section are healthy or most one ingredient foods like brown rice, regular rice, oats. Those are just one ingredient, right? And so finding whole grains, adding more oatmeal into your diet, adding more fruit and berries, even having nuts. Um, some people who are struggling with weight, this nuts and like excess fat can be a problem, but we do need healthy fats and nuts have been shown time and time again. And Dan Buettner, the author and the study, the person who studied the blue zones, he found that having a couple ounces of nuts every single day extended your life by a few years. And so the food really matters, right? And that's why I do talk about it. Everyone can do what they want on their own journey. But I have noticed that food has made a big difference for me in my life, just with how I feel, how I show up and like my mind and things. I mean, it does help your body a little bit, but exercise is going to help that too. But really, I cannot tell you how many benefits that I've gotten from being plant-based. It wasn't like I was super unhealthy before, but I just feel so much more. You feel like energized alert, like alive. You don't feel as tired. You don't feel the up and down um, like sugar crashes or things like that. Um, but seriously, the energy is what's off the charts with this. And then your insides are thanking you, right? Like maybe people look healthy on the outside, but then they have really high cholesterol or things. So I could talk about this for a long time, as you can see, but really focus on the food. Try to get more of the good stuff, like the more leafy greens, the more vegetables, the more fruits, the more beans and legumes and those types of things, the better off you will be. Number two is something that you want to add is moderate to vigorous physical activity every single day for at least 30 minutes. So it could be brisk walking. It can be this moderate activity, or you can do a more intense version, but it's the consistency and it's at least 30 minutes that is really going to help you stay healthy. So if you do more than that, that's fine, but really try to get out there and get at least 30 minutes of movement. The study they found that a healthy body weight also made a difference so it's defined as a normal body weight um, mass index so you can look at this with the bmi um, i know a lot of people are like eh, they have questions about it and there's other ways to calculate like your body fat percentage etc um, because a lot of really strong and muscular people might be towards the end of their bmi rate or a little bit higher but typically this is very accurate and it's between 18.5 and 24.9. So you want a BMI between 18.5 and 24.9, and you're in a healthy zone. And if you are, then that's going to help ensure that you live a little bit longer and have a longer life. 
Number four, this is one that you should avoid doing is smoking. And so avoid smoking. People who avoided smoking typically live longer lives. Of course, there are outliers and people who are, they're like, well, my grandma just had Coca-Cola and this, and she smoked every day and she lived till she was 95. All right. But typically your body is going to be much healthier. You're going to feel much better if you aren't smoking and if you aren't engaging in some of these unhealthy activities. And lastly, one to really be careful about and to avoid is your low risk alcohol intake. So it's measured between five and 15 grams per day for women, and then five to 30 grams a day for men. Generally one drink contains about 14 grams of pure alcohol, which is 12 ounces of regular beer, five ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. So if you, I really look at the blue zones with longevity and health and happiness, and they do say that some people do drink moderately. And so if you are drinking, it's very, very small, but alcohol can be a big problem in society. It could be a big expense. It could be something that leads to making poor choices and could be very hurtful to families. It could be very destructive to yourself and to your life. Um, similarly with smoking, but especially with some of these drinking things, um, it just can change your state, which isn't good. And it can really damage your liver and your body and your insides. And so I would just be careful. I've never drank. I, I mean, I've tried drinking um, a cup, like a few sips in my life, um, but I've never drank and I don't really think about it and I don't like want to preach about it, but I definitely can test, uh, be a testament to that, that like I'm fine without it. Right. Um, and so if you do want to age well and you do want to drink, know yourself, if you can handle like a small amount, then that's fine. And people do that. I know my grandma and my grandpa, my grandpa was in his nineties and my grandma is in her nineties still. And they have like a very small drink every single night and they wind down, then that's fine. Um, but just, I always am careful when I talk about alcohol or even saying yes to it, because I know that it's a big problem in society and could cause a lot of hurt and pain for a lot of people and families. All right. So those were the five things to do or to avoid um, in order to live a healthy and happy life. There's lots of other things you can do as well in staying hydrated and getting enough sleep and reducing your stress, finding good friends and relationships, et cetera, um, and moving throughout the day. But those are really some core things that the Harvard study found founded. Um, so if you want to make sure that you are eating well, lots of whole foods, um, you are getting enough rest. I'm going to add that one in there. Um, make sure you, that you're not smoking, make sure that you're not really drinking much. If you are really limited to that small, small amount, make sure you're getting physical activity in at least 30 minutes a day. That will really help you in your life and maintain a healthy body weight. Typically, if you're getting that exercise and you're eating a well balanced diet, especially the diet makes a big difference. You're probably going to be at a healthy BMI. Um, and then you can go from there. So let me know what you think. Do you like, did you like this video? Was it helpful? Do you do these things? Do you not do these things? Do you have any other tips or healthy habits that you think have helped you in your life as you age? Um, let me know in the comments below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more videos like this and feel free to share with a friend if you think that they would enjoy it and would like to be a part of the community. So thanks so much for being here. Good luck to you on your health journey. I know I just am really passionate about helping you improve your life, be healthier, happier, be more successful and reach your full potential. So thanks for being here. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. You got this.